Alright, hello and welcome to my first demo. Um, today we're going to be going over how to do metal textures in Manga Studio 5. Um, as you can see, I've started out with some bases here, just some simple spheres to get us started. Um, we're going to be working on kind of a um, gold material over here, a bronze over here, and then a silver here in the middle. Uh, we're going to start here with the bronze color. Now, in Manga Studio, there are a lot of um, layer options. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with an Add Glow. And then we're going to come over here to our brushes. And I like using this chalky brush right here. It's got kind of a gritty texture to it that really complements metal as well. So... As you can see, we're just going to kind of start with some simple highlights and shadows. Um, in the sub-tool for blur, um, blending tools, we have a blur by fiber. And that's going to help quite a bit with getting us our metal look. Alright, so there's a good like highlight area to start out with. And then I like using this soft brush. It's got kind of like this kind of a texture for shadows. So we're going to go over here and I like to use a nice kind of purpley mauve color for shadows. At least to start out with. And then kind of move on to some blacks later. Now I will say it's really important to use references when you want to do textures for the most part, but I've done metals for quite a while. So this is really just to get you the basic idea. If there's a very, very specific look that you want, then it's going to be smart to have a picture open in another window and kind of look back and forth just so that you can get the details right. Alright, so here is like a basic shaded sphere. Now we're going to go back in, do another glow layer, and add some more to it. Now, this demo is going to be a free demo on my YouTube. For some of my later ones, I'm going to start adding some more advanced demos to my Patreon if anybody is interested. I would suggest um, maybe supporting me. You can donate as little as a dollar per month, and you'll have access to any of the myriad of vi videos that I decide to do. See, we're going to start putting in some extra colors because uh, metals don't tend to just be one color. They tend to have a myriad of colors reflected in them. At least shiny ones do. I'm going to get some darker blacks down in here and. Oop! Wrong brush. Get back to the soft one. Um, if anybody's interested, I can also make any of these brushes available via Gumroad. Um, I already have one brush pack available on there. Uh, but it should be fairly easy to find some brushes that aren't uh, either not too expensive or free. Uh, there aren't as many as there are Photoshop brushes because Manga Studio isn't quite as popular yet. 
but we're getting there. <laughs> See, and get some more of that bronze color in there. And sometimes it's good to get some different um, shades in there to prevent um, like a monotone look. If you use a lot of reds and oranges, they can start to look a little funny, so it's good to add in some blues. So there's kind of a bronze. Now for silver. So we're going to start out with the same basic principle. Uh, it also helps if you turn down the opacity. <laughs> Building in layers is really what gives these things their kind of painterly look. Silver can also be a little bit tricky because you don't, it has a tendency to go white, <laughs> especially once you start adding like the lighter tones. So just to be clear, I'm kind of a layer freak, so you'll see me make a lot of layers, even when I don't necessarily have to. Um, the way I see it, the more layers I have, the less likely I'm going to mess something up and have to redo a whole bunch of stuff without just deleting one layer. So, better safe than sorry. So here's kind of a clean bluish silver. Now keep in mind these are just for demo purposes, so you can definitely, definitely go more detailed with them. Um, and depending on the type of metal you want, you might want to add in some like brushed metal looks, or you might want to be a little harder on the details, like for really polished metals. Um, harder brushes also tend to look a little uh, glossier, so it has kind of this smoothing effect. Although from what I understand, the chalky look is really popular right now.
It also never hurts to go out and find some of your own textures. Um, if you say you want those brushed looks or like gouges in your metals, you can always go in, look for a like a brushed metal texture and then bring it into Manga Studio to make your own brush with it. I also have a tutorial for that on my YouTube. Let's see, do I have anything? Some cracks here. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, we might be able to make this work. I love when I have my <laughs> opacity turned down on my eraser. There we go. And don't forget, if you don't like something, you can always go in and take it out. There we go. There's kind of a silver texture. And now gold. Now you might be wondering, why on earth am I not starting with a yellow base for gold? Well, if you go with a yellow, it turns, tends to look like a really fake gold, and it also doesn't take the glows as well. When you start with more of this kind of brownish base, and you go in for the glow. It tends to look more gold. Get track the opacity here. See. It definitely looks really good for dramatic lighting. So if you want a really like intense light on it. Oh, that was a glow dodge. That's why it's not... Okay. I'm like, what is going on here? And don't get me wrong, if you go with the glow dodge, you can definitely play with your layer styles that way as well. There are a myriad of ways to do this, and not all of them are wrong. And mine's definitely not the only one that's right either. <laughs> see. Go in. Get my dark colors in here. If you want a really like realistic gold look, you definitely don't want to go too yellow. Looks really bad. See, it's already kind of starting to look like realistic gold here. Or, you know, the color.
So here we have three very basic metal textures. Using some very, very simple brush techniques techniques in Manga Studio. I'm just going to go in and add some highlights. Highlights really make a lot of difference when it comes to metals because you want that really shiny look for like the edges and stuff. I went a little too blue on the silver here. Anyways, there you have it, some metal textures in Manga Studio 5. Thank you for watching!